and the sales person asked me that uh, sir are you sure you want to take it off from the stand that killed my confidence and i couldn't test road that day Hello YouTube, what's up? So I am back with another Sunday morning vlog. You guys will be knowing that I go out for vlogging only on Sundays because I have an external audio recording setup and it's too messy to connect it on my everyday rides. So during the last month, many of my viewers has been asking me that how am I managing to get a longer test drive for from a showroom? Uh, that too from different manufacturers. If you think it's a YouTube tag which is helping me out on this, it's partially correct. But there are few other points which I follow to make sure that the showroom people are comfortable giving the bike to me. Before my YouTube phase of life itself, I used to go for test rides and I was able to make good relationship with the showroom people. You don't have to buy a motorcycle if you want to take a test ride. It could be like you are preparing for your future bike also. So here are few points which I give importance to when I go and ask for a test ride. Point one. be in complete riding gear when i go to a showroom for the first time i always wear my complete riding gear what that means is a riding jacket my gloves normal boots and a hard jeans uh just by giving this kind of look to a sales person in the showroom you have already given him an idea that uh, you give importance to safety if you show up in shorts just like a tennis player and ask to borrow a helmet probably they or at least i would tell you to come back when you are serious about it that's all and if you don't have a complete riding gear at least make sure that you carry a helmet and a hard boot along with the jeans pant that's all point 2 if you are going in your motorcycle to the showroom make sure that your motorcycle is in good condition imagine you are the sales guy in the showroom and one person comes to the showroom on a bike where it's one mirror is broken and an indicator is hanging and all over the motor motorcycle looks filthy what do you feel about him definitely you will judge him based on his motorcycle they will get a feel that if you push your bike onto that state what will you do to a test ride bike i mean test ride bikes are the most abused bikes in the motorcycle community i'm i'm getting an analogy of it when compared to humans but i'm not telling you that the video so whenever i go to a showroom even though i take care of my bike like a kid i give him a wash in the morning and make sure that he it outshines when i park him along with the test ride bikes and it's a success if the sales person come to you and uh, he praise you about the looks of the bike point number 3 do not consider showrooms like public toilets just understand what i meant Some people are so desperate to get into the showroom for test drive, and after completing it, they are again desperate to get out of the showroom. That's why I told you, do not consider it as a public toilet. Show some patience when uh, they set up the bike for you, and get involved in some talk related to motorcycles and some good talks. And after the test drive, take some time to give a sincere feedback on the quality of the test drive as well as the showroom. it meant a lot to them point number 4 this is the most important one don't be a douchebag means do not talk bullshit about their motorcycles or any other motorcycle brand please don't think that talking bad about competitors uh, brings happiness to the sales guys what they think is if you do this here you might bad mouth them in another showroom that's all so stay away from all those bullshits you can engage in healthy conversation but Just don't try to teach your fundas and theories in a show. That's all. You could possibly ask for uh, their up upcoming products and technologies. If the sales guy is a knowledgeable person, he'll be interested in those kind of talks. And even after sticking to all good things, if the showroom people are not ready to give for a test drive, just go to a different showroom, man. That's all. Don't talk about it. Go to a different showroom. Be happy. Possibly you could give a review about them in Google. Be it positive or negative. and i want to let you guys know one thing i have never got a reject from a showroom when i'm on a full riding gear on the other hand i got some respect i have been through good and bad experience during test rides 
I think that the worst experience uh, I had was around few years back. I went to the test drive of my favorite Royal Enfield, the Continental GT. I was very thin at that time, probably uh, weighing 50 kilograms with a height of 170 centimeter. So I went to the uh, bike and I sat on the bike, the test drive bike, and the salesperson asked me that, uh, sir, are you sure you want to take it off from the stand? <laughs> that killed my confidence and I couldn't test road that day. Later I realized that if I crash the motorcycle, then he's going to be in trouble, that's all. So that's it guys, as I told earlier, you don't have to buy the motorcycle to test drive that. Just be yourself and be honest with your buying plans. And uh, please don't take this as golden rules, it is just a thought from my side which, which has been working for some time. So I'm winding up with this video. If you have any suggestions or ideas, just write it down in the comment box, I read almost every comment. See you in my next video, ride safe, goodbye.